This tutorial explains how to change the symbology of a raster layer. As you have learned in the previous tutorial, add the DEM raster layer to the map area and also add the uh, Las Vegas boundary vector file and zoom to extent for that vector file. Also change its symbology so you can see the DEM through it. If you have taken all the steps correctly, you should see something similar to um, this as you can see in the map extent or map window. So if you look at the DEM data display, it's ranging from white to black with various grayscale uh, colors. If you click the, the little plus symbol next to the DEM, you can see that the black color is 501 value and the white color is 1308 value and all the other gray colors are ranged between 501 and 1308 um, and of course it's not very clear in this uh, with this color scale uh, we can add colors to this layer or change the range of the values for the minimum and maximum color uh, using the same uh, approach as for vector layers that is by changing the properties of this layer if you right clear right click the DEM layer you will see an option called properties and this is where we can alter the symbology of the uh, raster layer here again you can see uh, in this under the style we have uh, a render type uh, this is treating it as a single band gray, which means it's a one layer and it is ranged as a gray color or gray scale uh, color range going from black to uh, uh, white. Now we can pull down this menu and change it to a single band pseudo color since this is a single band and we can use some colors with it. Um, in this case, we can pick various type of color schemes let's uh, stick with the spectral and we can uh, add these uh, looks like there we can have continuous five classes we can add these classes here and as you can see it going from 501 to 1300 1308 which is the minimum and maximum range for this or you we can also change it to uh, look more integer values so we can say go from 500 to 1000 and then reclassify uh, this um, we can and then we can apply this to see what the output looks like as you can see now the color range has changed so blue color is high elevations and red color is low elevations. Now this is a little bit counterintuitive. Typically you expect the red color to be high elevation. So you can uh, click this little uh, checkbox called invert and click classify again. This will change the direction of the colors and you can see that the red become high elevation and blue become low elevations so there are many other options available in the properties uh, you should go ahead and try to uh, do different try these different options and see how the results change and this is how you can change the symbology of a raster image